Drew, how did you get involved with wrestling? Well, uh, I guess I started wrestling when I was in first grade. Uh, I know my brother when he was in middle school, he's he seven years older than me, uh, I believe. Uh, he started wrestling and he kind of quit and then I figured I'd give it a try. I went out and just kind of stuck. I liked it and just kept wrestling since then. What has wrestling meant to you? Um, wrestling is pretty much it's been a lifestyle. It's taught me a lot of discipline throughout my life. Um, it's, you know, helped me develop a work ethic that I think is going to benefit me a lot in the future. And it's just been, you know, so it's been a lot of fun to, you know, get to know uh, guys that are on the team or uh, on many teams that I've been on. It's just been a, a great experience for me. What have you learned since being at Wabash? If, if you have uh, the willingness to dedicate time to your goals, you can succeed in, in any of your, your goals or in your endeavors. Mm -hmm. And um, since being at Wabash, I've gotten involved in quite a few things. I've been on the wrestling team and, and involved in the Saints Club and Greek life and uh, all those sorts of things. And it's helped me that I need to, to learn how to manage my time very efficiently and effectively. Um, and without those skills, I, I know that uh, I wouldn't be able to succeed in uh, any of my endeavors here at school. I think that will benefit me a, a ton in the future. What are your future goals? Uh, future goals or plans? I'm actually I'm going to move to Bloomington. I have a job in Bloomington. Um, working with a venture capital firm. Um, the goals for the short term are just to learn as much as I can about starting a business, so hopefully I can uh, pursue some entrepreneurial efforts later in the future. Tommy, what is the memory of Drew that you have? Um, one summer, me and Drew, we stayed on campus together. He had an internship, and I had a job here on campus. And uh, we took the day off of work one day, and we went up to Raccoon Lake, I believe, was what it was, and we just fished all day and hung out, uh, hiked, and you know had a great time. So it was pretty cool. Uh, great dude. Uh, he'd do anything for you, and he's really smart, and he's going places. Pat, what is the memory of Drew that you have? Uh, my first memory of Drew Songer was actually from my Honor Scholar weekend. Uh, Drew was a freshman then, and I was uh, a senior in high school. Uh, I actually got to stay with Drew for that weekend, uh, but Drew was a, a really nice guy to stay with. Uh, he kind of showed me a little bit of the ropes of Wabash before I got here. Um, he was someone who was getting it done uh, in the classroom and on the wrestling mat. Uh, coach was telling me about that, so it was good to stay with him for those reasons, but then also just to see how involved he was socially uh, with his fraternity, and now he does the Sphinx Club too. Uh, he's really a guy that is, uh, lives a very balanced lifestyle between uh, wrestling, school, and his social life.